Hello everyone, I'm Nancy, I'm the Kentucky Garden Gal, and today, since it's raining outside, it's just absolutely pouring, we are going to be cleaning some silver and some copper. And I want to show you, I did clean my jewelry before I put it on, and I'll put a picture up on the screen that shows you how absolutely dirty it was. So let's get started. So this is the product that we're going to be using and I've never used this before today and I have to tell you I'm super impressed. When you open it up there's a little sponge which you get wet. You want the water to be warm. So then when you pull this little piece out it separates what uh, is between your applicator and the actual product. So all you have to do is just wet your little applicator some, go down in, get you some of the cleaner, and just gently go around whatever item it is that you are trying to clean. I had two little salt seltzers that I wanted to clean today, but the main thing I really wanted to clean today was my jewelry, and as you'll see, I'll flash up some before and after pictures. It really cleaned my jewelry, just did a wonderful job with that. So we just sort of work it back and forth, clean the bottom of it. Once you get through polishing, you rinse it under the warm water and then you dry it off good. And here it is. Here's one that wasn't done. So look at the difference. This is so super easy to use. So I'm going to clean off my applicator. Go in, get just a little bit of this and here we go cleaning this it is really that simple now the next cleaning um, project I want to tackle is some copper and I have a feeling that's not going to be quite as easy as this silver is to clean Look how dirty that is. And I guess I really should be wearing gloves if I were cleaning silver the old fashioned way. I would be, but it doesn't seem like it's making my hands and fingernails that tarnished. So here it is. Another little salt salts are done. So after you polish it, you just wash it and dry it, ready to go, cute as can be. All right, so we're gonna put this up. So we just put our little separator back in there. We've rinsed our applicator, put it on top, put the lid on, and it's ready for the next time we wanna use it. Okay, so the next thing that we want to clean is copper, and I tried this <clears throat> product just to see how it was going to work. So you can see this has been cleaned, this has not been cleaned, this is just a copper cup. This is the product that I'm using, it's Howard Pinola Copper and Brass Cleaner. Instant action beautifies your brass, cleans and shines and protects. So it tells you in the instructions to give it a good shake. And for this, I'm actually going to be using an old sock. It's soft. So we'll just use this sock. And then all you do is put it on. And you can see that it's taken all of 
the tarnish off and this cup was badly tarnished. Both inside and out. So if you have some copper sitting around that you would like to bring back to life, this seems to be a good product to use. And the way I've used this sock really doesn't seem to be that bad, y'all. I need a little bit more product, though. I think this is going to work as good as the silver polish did. And look how my bracelet is so shined up. It was so tarnished before I cleaned it. And my ring, my ring is super shiny. Oh, this is working fantastic as well. All right, so I'm going to rinse this off. with warm water. Wow, guys, look. Look at how nice this turned out. Oh, goodness. This really worked well. Just taking a soft cloth and sort of polishing it. Well, I would say that's definitely a big improvement. What do you think? All right, so I have a feeling this next bowl is really going to put this to the test. So I've done washed it, it's clean, it, there's no dust, anything on it. So let's put on the sock, get some product, and we'll start on the inside. So this product does copper and it also does brass. I have a brass chandelier in the foyer that if I get real industrious today, I think I'm going to tackle. Look already what that looks like. Wow. So it looks like I'm going to be standing here going around and around and around on this. So I think I'm going to clean a while and then I'll come back and show you how it looks. As you can see, I have scrubbed and scrubbed and polished and polished on this pot and I'm convinced now that it's not a copper pot it's probably a brass pot so because you can just tell the difference between how this looks and this looks I think this is more than likely more brass so it came somewhat clean I may give it another um, another try. I may research specifically how to clean brass that's pretty tarnished. But if you're interested in this product, it is Howard Pinola Copper and Brass Finish. And they have a website. It's made in the USA. It's www.howardproducts.com. So that is the copper and the brass. This was definitely our jewel of the day, and you can order this. It's made in the USA at www.goddards.com. And I paid $6.50 for this. I think I might have paid $9 for this, and I also got it at an antique store. 
So I hope this has helped you if you're trying to clean. Um, Silver had really, really good luck with this. Really easy to use. Uh, this worked great on the copper. Not so much on the brass. I was a little disappointed in that. But this is Nancy, uh, the Kentucky Garden Gal. And if you haven't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button on your way out. Thanks and have a great day.